The Bearcats are dressed in their white uniforms and they've got the ball first. Straight man-to-man -man defense for George Washington. Cincinnati will play com a combination zone man. You're gonna have to have guys on George Washington that will have to create shots for others and you saw that on display right there. Great penetration and kick for a splash. Cobb covered up in a hurry. Tries a floater off the glass. Wasn't that pretty? Four minutes since the Bearcats have scored a field goal. Johnson with a turnaround. That'll go home. Also for that rebound, but Clark got it instead. He's all over the glass today. Clark already has five rebounds in wow. this game. Go Ellis. score. Yep. Right Loves there. that move with the left hand. It's unstoppable when he gets it that close. Larson shied away, even though he was at point blank range. So close, and he got the position he needed, but again, the long arms altered the shot. That's the first made three by the Bearcats. Everybody has struggled. Anybody not named Patricio Garino for GW, for the most part, has struggled from downtown, but not today. Not today. Six for seven, the Colonials from three point range. Now Cobb makes it back-to-back -back threes for the Bearcats. Watanabe trying to keep it alive. Boy, the inside presence that time of DeBerry. Nice pass. Oh, good By pass. mistake. <laughs> Copain, two for five from three-point range. Good pass inside. Thomas finds Clark. And this half is due primarily to that zone. He's got a guy in front of him and behind him. They, it's a slightly different 1-3-1. One, one. They got a small guy out front and a big guy underneath. Evans tries another three, and the rebound falls into the lap of Johnson. I don't know what Mick Cronin calls it, quite honestly, but it's a amoeba combination zone man defense. It's amazing. A three from Johnson. Thanks, Monica. A three-point attempt. They didn't listen, but in this case, it didn't hurt. <laughs> Cobb with a three. There's the catch. There's the shot. No. Garino fighting for it. And there's Johnson again. Johnny on the spot. And rebound. Clark got a hand on it. And back to Copain. Starters on the floor for George Washington. Johnson, number 25, off the bench in for Cincinnati. Copain off the glass. Good matchup, tipped in by Ellis. And GW is begging for it in the cylinder call, but they're not gonna get it. So Cincinnati will go home with the hardware from the Barclays Center Classic, led by Troy Copain, who came up big in this tournament. Copain in this game was 16 points, and a 7-0 start for the Bearcats as we get you to Monica McNutt.